Now, this, the verse here, according to the rabbi's numbering, could happen in the year 2010, sometime in the next 14 months. Uh, we don't know that it will happen. We're not prognosticators. We don't know the future. But it would be kind of interesting if our president introduced us mm. to these guys. And, you know, I, I know that's tabloid stuff. I remember mm -hmm. back when, when uh, the Enquirer, National Enquirer, had Clinton shaking hands with an alien with the big head, you oh, know, yeah. the little body. <laughs> well, you know, if you want to know the truth, read the National Enquirer, there right? <laughs> that's what everybody says. I, I would uh, add a word here at this point. Uh, it's tempting when you look at a, a layout like this that has dates associated with it. It's tempting to date set. Uh, I think this should be approached prayerfully. I think it should be approached conservatively. The Lord may lead you to have a, a number of divinely appointed insights from Scripture. Uh, I think to go out and say that such and such a thing is going to happen on such and such a date, yeah. it, it probably shouldn't be done. Right. Now, we come to verses 19 and 20, which would be for the year 2012. Remember 2012? <laughs> oh, yes. And 2013. So let's talk about that for a few moments, and, and uh, we'll, we'll stop with these two verses and pick it up later uh, on our next broadcast. Let's talk about um, 2012. And when the Lord saw it, he abhorred them because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. And that would be, according to the rabbi's numbering, 2012. And then 2013, and he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very froward generation, children in whom is no faith. So mm. he's upset with Israel here. Yes. Now, it's very clear, and this is not guesswork, he's speaking to the people of the latter days. He says it in plain Hebrew, if you will. He's speaking to the last generation. And therefore, we know that this is not some idiom for the for Moses' own contemporaries. This is talking to the people of the latter days. When the Lord saw it, he abhorred them. What is the it referring to? The it is the, the, the worship of strange gods and gods that newly came up. Mm -hmm. When the Lord saw it, he abhorred them because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. And J.R., this is tribulational stuff. This is the time of Jacob's trouble when God removes his presence and allows the Antichrist to rise to power. Mm -hmm. uh, and he, he says he's doing it in response to the disobedient worship of his sons and daughters as they worship these new strange gods. Mm -hmm. So it's something to watch. Now if God hides his face from them, does that mean he removes their friends as well? It would by extension. To hide the face mm -hmm. means to turn away, uh, perhaps to remove uh, the Spirit of the Lord from the earth. And that would, of course, imply the removal of the church from the earth. Oh. Well, I don't know if that's going to happen in 2013 or 20, late 2012. Uh, let's see, it's December, uh, what, 21st, uh, 2012 is supposed to be the end of the world, according to the Mayan calendar. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a new movie's coming out this month uh, talking about that or... Uh, uh, you know, it's a Hollywood movie. But uh, these are interesting verses, and they are in the Song of Moses. And the very fact that we have such a precedence here with the 5,708th verse and the 5,769th and the 5760th verse, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the future. We'll just have to, you know, keep looking at this. Don't set any dates, okay? Don't go buy your white robe yet. But I tell you what, if there ever was a time when we ought to be out winning souls, now is that time. So we encourage you, look at this, keep it in the proper perspective, but hey, we just got started. When we go down through the rest of these verses, through the Song of Moses, I think you'll, it's a, it's a jaw dropper, Gary. Mm -hmm. It is. Got any last word? Any last word for us? Well, the, the last word would be... Uh, we cannot know the times. It, it, no man can know. 
But that doesn't mean that, that we don't know with a, a, a great deal of certainty that we are in what the Bible refers to as the last days, the last generation, the latter days. The signs are too numerous, and therefore we should be preparing ourselves on a daily basis. And as J.R. has said for years, keep looking up because you don't know when he's coming. That's right. I'm J.R. Church with Gary Stearman. Until Monday, have a good weekend. We'll see you then.